Mariners hosting the Red Sox. The Red Sox are plus 100 on the money line. The Mariners are minus 120. Over under seven and a half runs. The Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 200, meaning if you bet them that way and they would win this game outright, you would win. Or if they only lost this game by one, you'd win. The Mariners laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 170, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Bello pitched once against the Mariners this year. Five innings, one run, one earn. They won that game 12 to three in Boston. He struck out seven batters in that game. The Red Sox are six and four as a team in Bellow's last 10 appearances. He's averaging six innings pitched and four and a half strikeouts per game in those games. In his last five, the Red Sox are three and two as a team. He's got an ERA of three and he's averaging six innings pitched in his last five games. His last game, he had three earned runs and struck out four. The game before that was six earned runs and struck out three. The game before that was three earned runs and struck out five. The game before that was two earned runs and struck out three. And the game before that was one earned run and struck out five. Now for Miller, he did not pitch against the Red Sox either last year or this year. The Mariners are five and five as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging five innings pitched and 4.7 strikeouts per game in the last 10. Now, if we go more specific in his last five, the Mariners have won his last two. They are three and two in his last five. His ERA is at 2.4 and he's averaging five innings pitched. And the last game that he pitched, it was the worst of his last five outings. Six earned runs with seven strikeouts, no earned runs with three the game before that, two earned runs with six strikeouts, three earned runs with four, and one earned run with six strikeouts. Now, head-to-head, -head, the home team's on a three-game winning streak. The home team is 7-3 and three in their last 10 meetings. The Red Sox are 7-3 and three against the Mariners in their last 10. The favorite is on a two-game winning streak. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The underdog, however, getting a run and a half is 6-4. and four. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings, none in the games that they've played against each other so far this year. The over has hit in their last four games. The over is eight and two in their last 10, and the over seven and a half runs also eight and two. They've played each other four times so far this year. The Mariners won the first game 10-1. The Red Sox won the next two 9-4 and 12-3, and then the Mariners won today 6-2. And their last handful of games overall, the Red Sox are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. They're on a three-game slump. They are 1-3 in their last four, and the under is 7-3 in their last 10. They beat the Giants 3-2, then lost 3-2 and 4-3 to the Giants, and then lost to the Mariners today 6-2. For the Mariners, they are 7-3 in their last 10. They are 5-1 in their last six, and the under is 6-4 in their last 10. They beat the D-backs 5-2, then lost to the D-backs 4-3, then beat the D-backs 4-0, and then beat the Red Sox 6-2. I'm kind of torn here with because seemingly the Red Sox have dominated the Mariners, but home field seems to be critical in the last handful of games that they've played against each other. So I'm going to hedge my bets here a little bit, and I probably shouldn't do that, but... I'm going to take the Mariners with the money line, and I'm just going to go Mariners clean sweep here. Mariners with the money line, Mariners laying the runs, and I'm going to go over. If I'm going to go down with the ship, so be it. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.